You can often change your circumstances by changing your attitude. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we have an inspiring message on how to change your circumstances by changing your thoughts. Enjoy. So much of what we think influences our lives is what happens to us. Let me just be real clear. What happens to you in life? I'm sorry for all the bad things that happen to you because we're in a broken planet. You don't always choose right. Other people don't choose right. We all get hurt. But what happens to you in life is not nearly as important as the way you choose to respond to it. Because for some people, they go through a bad situation and it builds them up. And the other people, it breaks them. For some people, it's a stepping stone. For other people, it's a stumbling block. I can take two people, put them in the exact same pain, and one of them will succeed, and one of them will fail. Why? It's the choice. It is the choices that you make. Your choices are far more important in shaping your life than your circumstances. You cannot control all the circumstances that happen in your life. Sorry, I'm sorry for the pain. I've had circumstances in my life I wish had not happened. You cannot control the circumstances in your life, but you can control your choices. And you can control how you respond to it. And you can control whether you let something make you bitter or better. Experience could cause you to stop progressing because you keep judging your dreams by your experience or your vision by your experience. And you end up saying, Uh, I tried that before or I never saw anyone do it that way and you begin to use your experience to stop your progress if you having a bad time right now it cannot last if you cannot find a job right now that is only a season if your business is going in the wrong direction it's a seasonal slide we sit down and let change just happen to us Or are we just watching change happening around us? Or are we aware that change is happening within us? Or are we going to be those proactive people who make sure that we affect what happens to us? Change also produces four types of people. They are in this room. First of all, uh, there are people who, who watch things happen. Now, let me say something about change. This is important here. Not all change is improvement. You used to weigh 128, and now you changed. And for some of you, that's not an improvement. You lost your wardrobe. (laughs) You lost your ability to climb up steps fast. You even lost the quality of health that you had. Change doesn't mean improvement all the time. But the problem is, without change, there can be no improvement. So you have to decide what to do with change. Change will happen. And if you are not careful, it could be destructive. So you have to determine what kind of change do I want in my life and I want you as a young person as a mother and a father as a business person to think about your company even or your family or your educational pursuit Uh, what kind of classes do you want to take in college this year what kind of grades do you want what kind of relationship you want to have in your life who do you want to drop and who do you want to pick up in your relationships what kind of people do you want to associate with where do you want to travel that you've never been what are the books you need to read you never read before that the changes come with choices so what kind of person are you 
it's beginning to notice those fear-based belief systems or those um, un- feelings of unworthiness, as you said before, or the stories that we have on repeat, those, those negative thought systems that we have on repeat that keep us stuck all day long, right? And for, for some people, you've done a lot of personal growth work and there's just one lingering one or two or three lingering ones, and you recognize them. And you, the first step is to notice the thought and notice how it makes you feel. Because when you recognize that it's not making you feel good, then you know you are out of alignment with your super attractor power, right? The second step is profound. It's to forgive yourself for having the thought. So sometimes when we have that fear-based thought, we actually believe that we are the thought we are having. I am not worthy. I am not good enough. I am overweight. I'm a, you know, I'm a piece of shit, whatever it is, okay? And that's a big one. I hear people say a lot, I think I'm a piece of shit. How horrible is that? That's when I, I carry, for, I still, I'm still working on it. I mean, really, yeah. And so forgive yourself for having that thought. And when you forgive yourself for having the thought, what happens is, is that you can now recognize that the, the forgiveness dissolves it because it makes you realize that I am not that. I am not that person that's unworthy. I forgive that. I forgive that belief system about myself. Or you can forgive the thought altogether. And the third step is to choose again. And this is where you start to reach for the next best feeling thought. And so when you're stuck in, in a, a low vibe thought of I'm, I'm sick and I can't get well, and then you forgive yourself for having the thought, oh, God, you know, I, I went there again, let's, let's return this around. And then you start to reach for the next best feeling thought. You would reach for, well, I have access to podcasts about health, or I, have, uh, I, 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 do, I do have some awareness about diet, and I'm going to be able to you know, read that free ebook that so-and-so put up, and that ebook will put me on the right path. And these little thoughts that you believe in start to guide you out. And the more we proactively practice these three steps, the more we literally change the way we believe. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.